What you guys, today we're going to be taking a look at how to completely uninstall your graphics driver in Windows. Now, if you're having issues with your graphics driver and you want to completely remove it and remove all remnants, then this is the way to do it using DDU. DDU is Display Driver Uninstaller. If you look inside your disk manager here, you'll see your display driver. Now, sometimes people just right click and uninstall from here. And the problem is with this is it can leave loads of remnants of your driver behind. And this can cause problems when you're trying to reinstall your new driver. Another way people like to uninstall their drivers is going to control panel and then going to uh, programs, uninstall a program. Inside here, you're going to see your graphics driver, whether it be AMD or whether it be NVIDIA. People like to uninstall them from here as well. Now, sometimes what can happen is you uninstall from here and it doesn't completely uninstall all the driver and you can end up with some problems. Another issue is uh, some people will have issues when they uninstall the driver and then Windows will automatically install the driver for you. And this can cause problems because sometimes the driver that Windows installs is causing you problems. So DDU, Display Driver Uninstaller, is a piece of software you can use to completely remove AMD, Intel, and NVIDIA drivers. So let's go down to the bottom of the page here and download it, and I'll show you how to use it correctly and uninstall your drivers. So you choose the download link of your choice in the list here. So I'm going to choose this one in the Netherlands. And it will say downloading the driver here up the top. You can see it's getting ready to come down. It's quite a short download. Just download this. It is zipped up. So we're going to unzip uh, this file. Here is our file here. And it is compressed in another file internally here. So we do need to transfer this to a folder. I'm going to make a folder on my desktop called DDU. And then copy it into there. And this will be where I'm going to be doing all of my uninstalling from. Let me quickly create another folder called DDU and drag that into there. So that is the folder which we're going to be working with. But first, I want to go into safe mode. Now, safe mode is where I want to uninstall my graphics driver. So let me go ahead and do that. It's pretty straightforward to do. You can do this in a bunch of different ways. I'm going to show you a way that I'm going to do it here by going to the search here and type msconfig. Go to system configuration and then go to the boot tab up the top. Then down the bottom boot options, you should see uh, safe boot minimal. This means that it's just going to basically put us into safe mode until we've removed that configuration. So make sure you remove it once you've finished uninstalling your drivers. Now we need to restart our PC, and I'll put the camera on so you can see basically what it looks like. Now it's not great quality picture, but you can get the general idea of how to uninstall the driver. I can't capture the screen and uninstall the driver at the same time unless I use my capture card and I can't be bothered to set that up. But let's go ahead and uh, record the screen here. So I'll let it get to safe mode. So here we are in safe mode at the desktop here and you can see it's in safe mode because the screen is black and also we have safe mode in each corner. So let's go and unpack uh, DDU here. So you should see smart screen cannot reach right now. So just unpack this and extract it. There we go. And this will put a folder inside our DDU folder. We can now go inside that folder and there will be an executable file here, which we can then click on. And this will open up a program. You can read some of this information if you want to. Uh, I'm just going to click OK here. And this will give us some advanced options. Now, if you're having issues with Windows installing a driver that is causing you problems, then down the advanced options area here, you should see prevent downloads of driver uh, from Windows updates. This is an area where you can put a check mark in to stop Windows from, uh, you know, forcing drivers onto you when you're having an issue. So you can put a check mark in there. I only use this if I'm having issues with that particular problem there. So I don't tend to use it unless I am having an issue. So you can see here, I'm going to leave these as is. We don't really need to mess with any of this stuff. But have a close look at all the other settings to make sure that you've got exactly how you want it. In general, you don't really need to check much inside here uh, if you don't want to. So we can move on to the next bit here. So let's go ahead and click close here. I'm going to click close 
And now we get the option to select a device type. So I'm going to put GPU and I'm going to select NVIDIA. But you've got NVIDIA, AMD and Intel, but we're going to go for NVIDIA because we've got an NVIDIA card. Then we can click clean and restart. So basically this is highly recommended and it's going to clean out any drivers that are left behind. So if you're having issues with a driver, maybe you've started to install old drivers, new drivers, and it's now become a bit of a problem and you're getting some sort of conflict or glitching or something like that on the screen, you need to clean and remove all of the driver remnants from that PC. This will go through and start to remove everything. Registry keys, you name it, it will remove the whole lot. Now, the good thing here is it gives you a clean start. And this can solve a lot of problems which I've seen people have when they're asking for help on our Discord server with graphics problems. So just be patient. You can see it doing its thing down the bottom here and uh, just let it do its thing here. Now we'll say that uh, try to be patient with this. I'm going to try to show you the whole thing here because I don't want to skip any of the removal process so you can actually see uh, when it's uh, finished. Now it will restart your PC and then it will go back into safe mode and you can install your uh, graphics driver if you wish from there or you can go straight to the desktop and install it which I will probably do. So let's take a look here. You can see it's now finished off and cleaning out the directory and it will restart the system. If you want to go to the desktop and install your driver you can type msconfig in the run box, go back to the boot tab and remove these and click OK and this will boot up to the desktop. Now bearing in mind if you haven't stopped Windows from installing your driver it will start to install the driver at the desktop uh, immediately. So if you haven't downloaded it, it's going to start to install. But you can see here at the moment we have got uh, the screen resolution is all out of whack, and that's because we haven't got a driver on here. So I'm going to go ahead and download the GeForce Driver uh, 16 series. It's a 1660 Super in this machine. I'm going to go ahead and hit download here, and then download again, and this will then go ahead and download the driver that we need to install on this system. You can see 721 megabytes is the size of that driver. Once we've got it downloaded, we can click on this and install it. Now, if you're having problems at this stage, you may want to stop Windows from installing it if you're still having issues like I showed you earlier on. But I'm not having those issues, so I'm going to go ahead and download the driver and start to install it and get this onto the system. And hopefully once you've continued to install your driver and it's finished hopefully your problems have gone away and you ain't having those issues anymore this is a, a really good way of removing all your old remnants uh, of your drivers especially if you're having some sort of issue now, if you're having trouble with the latest driver you can always download an older version of driver uh, from uh, the nvidia website or from amd's website Sometimes using the older version until they fix any bugs or anything like that can rectify a lot of problems. So always try that method as well. You can see the screen flash black there. That means it's now uh, changing the resolution to full screen. And because we've got a driver installed now, we can get all of our full refresh rate and everything else from our monitor because we've now got the right drivers installed. So that is it. That's basically how you can completely remove uh, an AMD, a NVIDIA or Intel graphics drivers, completely remove them from the computer and install them properly on your PC if you're having any sort of issues uh, with your graphics drivers. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this problem has been resolved for you and this helps you out. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.